Now, you ran for Congress in 2000, and, and uh, what made you decide to do that? What do you remember about that first campaign, and, and has your experience in campaigning changed over the several opportunities you've had to run for office yeah. at the federal level? Actually, I had to be recruited to run um, because I was pretty happy being in the state assembly, working on public education at the state level and having my eye on the Senate to continue that work in the state of California in public education. And um, Then uh, I started getting recruited heavily by Zoe Lofkin, Anna Eshoo, um, Nancy Pelosi, and um, Patrick Kennedy. and um, They... Um, they, 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 they pushed pretty hard and they worked with my wife and <laughs> <laughs> my wife finally told me that uh, you ought to do this because your friends are asking you and um, if you don't want to be there on their bad list you know, this is a good thing to do you still can do your education thing so she gave me permission to run and uh, it was a 13 month stint and uh, it was the toughest 13 months I ever went through um, learned a lot about myself uh, I hated debates because it's not my venue, you know, where I, uh, because I'm a school teacher, and when you ask a question, you're supposed to answer quickly and precisely and concisely, and I like to talk about the issue first and then answer. It was, it was tough. It was tough. Now, has that changed in the, in the, in the several opportunities you've had to, to, to run again for re-election? Um, I, I'm easier? not sure that I've become more concise. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why they call the congressional minute the longest minute in the world. And um, but I, I have learned one thing that uh, being in this job is probably the best job I've ever had because it provides me the greatest opportunity to be involved in almost every issue that one can think of that's important to our families, our, our the individuals both domestically and internationally, and um, how to work with um, people and staff to um, extract information as quickly as possible, digest it, and then come up with a, uh, a position based upon my values, my principles, my history. And uh, so, you know, there isn't a job that's as comprehensive as this and as impactful uh, as, even though I'm one of 534 people. Uh, it's um, it's really a privilege to be here, uh, and the privilege is this: that all of us come from different backgrounds, and history, and experiences. And those who, of us who remember what we've learned, what we've realized, what we've lost um, in terms of language, culture, history, and things like that. If we're if we remember those things, and we think about policy. We can convert our private lives into public policy. And when we do that, then we've engaged other people who may have had the same background and experience. And to capture that makes public policy making uh, more precise and uh, elegant.